So here we are at the edge of the King's Cross estate, ambling along the canal. We're by St Pancras Lock and walking slowly because we really want to engage our senses in the natural world around us. And as we slow down, we can let our focus fall onto tiny details, things we'd never normally notice. Beautiful little plants and mosses, bumblebees buzzing, looking down at our feet where there are tiny plants growing, all sorts of little opportunistic life forms, finding a small foothold. There's a beautiful specimen of a small leaf lime here in this semi-wild area next to the canal. It's just coming into the leaf and the leaves still have that beautiful glossiness um, and as they mature they'll become softer and downier. Um, they're actually delicious to eat at this time of year. Um, very fresh, a little addition to salads. And then if you come down to the bed itself you'll see how plants have just settled into their own niches. So this bed is an area of semi-wild planting. Some of the plants are ornamentals and then others have just blown in on the wind along the canal. So we've got incredible mounds of Achillea, um, this ferny leafed uh, downy plant and it's very strongly scented and the scent is actually filling the air where we're standing. Uh, it's got quite a medical smell and traditionally it was used for keeping moths out of clothes um, and bed bugs out of beds. It's great for early pollinators here. There's flowers, there's the horny goat weed with its tiny little white and yellow flowers just nestling between quite thickly veined leaves. This amazing tree, multi-stem tree, I've discovered that it's a black hawthorn. So it has the most enormous thorns and they're all part of the rose family. So roses, plums, peaches, apples, pears, all have very similar flowers, which is usually what lets you know that they are rose families. It's good to be able to just slow down when you're walking. Uh, we all spend far too much time hurrying from A to B. And I think walking along the canal, you've got the sound of water that just can take away any thoughts you might have. So just take a moment to stop and listen to the sounds around you and just let the water be the predominant sound and just drop everything else that might be in your mind. And then as you walk, walk slowly and just take a moment to notice some overlooked tiny details that you might not normally see. There's some fantastic plant communities growing at the edge of the canal. This plant is called Pelletory of the Wall, so obviously it likes growing on walls. Traditionally, this plant produced an oil that was used as an analgesic for toothache. There's a gorgeous burdock here, um, traditionally used, the root traditionally used to make a drink, dandelion and burdock. And there's a beautiful shepherd's purse with its little heart-shaped seed pods that are like old-fashioned purses. So I've just found a really beautiful little corner of planting and it's like a woodland glade. It's sort of designed but feels quite wild. Um, it's got a really beautiful informality to it and I can see it's absolutely filled with this um, forget-me-not type plant, Brunnera. Slightly bigger than the old-fashioned forget-me-not but brilliant blue flowers. And there's scarlet Japanese quinces um, which will produce beautiful golden quince-like fruits in the autumn and then soft melica grasses just waving in the breeze. It's just got a gorgeous sense of the woodland floor, the layers of the woodland floor. Still enough light shafting down between the trees to just light up some of the flowers and it's alive with insects and bumblebees are busy and honeybees are out and pollinating flies. It's all sorts of life here and I think it really shows how even in incredibly urban areas just recreating little pockets of woodland, even if ornamental, just supports so much wildlife.
So I hope we've been able to show you some of the wonders of nature at King's Cross um, along the canal. There's so much to notice here in the natural world as long as you just take the time to slow down, breathe deeply and just notice small things that you don't normally see. We'll be making more of these little videos so there's plenty more that we can show you. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Thank you.